Hi, my name is Charles. I'm a family member care supporter and I work with the HSE in mental health engagement. And I'm recording this short message of hope for um, supporters because I think a lot's happened to um, change the way that we're perceived and a lot's happened in terms of our advocacy as a group looking for support for ourselves. Um, that's because with the introduction of the recovery framework and with the change in the culture of public mental health services in this country, um, we're starting to recognise and value, uh, and finally, the extraordinary role of people who are supporters and carers. Because in line with a person who may or have a, who's a service user, who may have been in and out of crisis, having their own personal responsibility, a lot of the slack is taken up by the people in their system. And despite everyone's advocacy to uh, at least recognise the role of supporters and family members, there's also been, uh, I think, a gap in terms of how the service is set up systemically itself. Because there's a one-on-one -on -one mapping between the patient record and the relationship that public mental health services has with the person, rather than a broader understanding of the system that that person has come from, their family of choice. And in that, uh, we all have plenty of work to do. Uh, my hope is that this continues and that thanks to the efforts of recovery education services and recovery colleges around the country, um, people who are supporters, carers, family members are starting to get support for themselves. Um, thanks to the work of the various groups doing wellness recovery action planning, the conversations between people who've been in crisis and wanting to make sure that they have their wishes respected if they ever do go back into crisis, and the relationships they have with their support groups, those conversations are starting to happen and they're really mean meaningful. It takes tremendous courage for everybody to get involved. But the healing and the understanding and the meaningfulness of what it is to experience crisis in mental health is finally being recognised everywhere. And that's a very hopeful thing. I hope all the other messages support and give different perspectives to this idea.